So I was having a little trouble sleeping, and I came up with this story idea called A Dark Night, centering around a Bruce Wayne that is black. Alfred is still born and raised in London, but his parents hail from India. Robin is a Latina from Brazil who's been called the most deadly thing pound for pound on two legs before she decided to quit the fight ring and beat up on criminals instead. And in this alternate universe, I get to play the Joker because <laughs> I once tickled someone to death. A Dark Knight Chapter 2. The moon rises and so does Bruce. The reflected sunlight reflects off his ebony skin and wakes him up. Alfred arrives, proper English punctual, with some post-fermented tea nah, for him. Ah, Robin, however, is out. Robin is looking for Goliath, they're calling him, a purse snatcher, big guy, who intimidates everything that he passes. Robin likes this type. Anyway, she sees her prey, lands in front of him, and says, <laughs> He's like, oh, you, all by yourself? Where's the bat? I don't need the bat for you. Oh, you need the bat for this. Pow, he punches her square in the face. She lands up against the wall, comes back down, and says, <laughs> You hit like a girl. He swings again. She ducks. He misses. She jumps up, comes down with an elbow right on the back of his neck. He's like, ah! Ugh. She says, you hit like me. He starts to feel a little uneasy, a little woozy. She says, it's a method I protected, perfected myself, where it just kind of pinches the nerve just right. You kind of spasm the muscle spasms, and you get a little dizzy, and then all I got to do is whack and a punch and he's out cold. She stands above him, takes out her paint gun and <laughs> splatters him with red paint. Cop one later comes along and says to cop two, what's up with the red paint? And cop two says, that's so that the criminals know Robin did this all by herself. No bat. A Dark Knight, Chapter Three. Batgirl is a cross-dressing bodybuilder so she certainly packs a manly punch. She gets her fair share of jokes when she walks into the room from the criminals, of course, but this just simply helps put her in the mood. The one who has the best insult is the one with the most broken bones. She walks in, they're laughing. She walks out, they're crying. If they can make a noise at all. A Dark Knight, Chapter 4. The final encounter between the Batman and the Joker. So, the Joker says, Look, that's the old boy. Everybody's long figured out how you came up with your name with your bats in the belfry and after all you're crazy like guano, but um, whatever gave Robin the idea to come up with such a lame sticker? To which the Batman replied, She always liked that Sherwood Forest story. Sherwood Forest? Robin Hood? Robin Hood was her inspiration. Uh, say all the nice things you want about him, Batsy, old boy, but in the end, he's still just a thief. To which the Batman fell to one knee in laughter. The Joker um, also fell to his knees, but he was completely in shock from having the, made the Batman laugh that he actually fell to his knees. He had a heart attack and died. The end.